Hello, everybody. My name is Rick McCutcheon. I'm a Dynamics 365 MVP, and I'm here today with a very special guest, Marie Leroy from IPM Construction Management Software. Marie, introduce yourself and tell everybody about IPM. Okay. Hi, Rick. Thanks for having me along. Uh, okay, so my name is Marie. Um, we're based in uh, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and we have um, a construction management solution that uh, the name kind of gives it away a little, but it's built specifically for the construction and engineering industry. So what we effectively do is we um, manage construction projects, but more specifically, not just individual projects, but the business of a construction company from the conception of the project through to the point where a transaction becomes an accounting transaction. And once we get to that point, we will feed that information through the appropriate information through to um, a choice of accounting systems. So we, we currently integrate with about 12 or more accounting systems. So we, we decided we didn't want to deal with that side of things. So I remember first seeing your product probably four or five years ago now, and I was really impressed at sort of the depth. And then once we got talking about it, you know, I really started to understand that, you know, I do have some background in construction management, and I realized the number of moving parts in a construction site, all the contractors, the subcontractors, uh, the third party organizations, suppliers. So there's a lot of, you know, organization and, and people that sort of have to work together to get, get a building built. So talk a little bit about sort of your company's background and how did you get to, you know, building your application on Dynamics? Sure. So um, I guess in a previous life, if you want, we, um, we used to be heavily involved with a company called Timberline. Um, and Timberline were one of the leading uh, construction solutions. It was primarily job costing and estimating at that time. Um, they owned at one stage about 35% of the construction market, which is huge. Uh, we, we actually did some development and developed a couple of products, uh, modules if you like, for want of a better word, um, that we then sold to Timberline back in the, uh, in the early 2000s. So they still use those two products to this day, um, but they did, uh, presumably they've um, <laughs> upgraded them and enhanced them. <laughs> but um, the thing of it, so, so for those who don't know who Timberline are, Timberline um, were bought by a company called Sage. And I'm sure everybody on this who's watching this should know who Sage are. And they, um, they the product is now called Sage um, CRE. Okay. So the product still exists. It has gotten um, more comprehensive, but it was still, still fundamentally because it is built around an accounting system or fundamentally the basics of the product are accounting. What we found with those sorts of job costing systems was they were too inflexible. So you couldn't edit things with, on the fly, which is what construction companies always do. They are, uh, you know, they, they're always moving, they're in a hurry, they need to, the flexibility to be able to change things around. And so that was what led us to move away, I guess, from the job cost accounting systems to look at something, um, we were looking for a platform where there was flexibility, where things could be changed specifically for the customer as needed. And at that time, we, um, we decided to move into the Microsoft Dynamics product, which at that stage was CRM4. Um, and we've, we've moved with that um, all the way through. So we're now currently, so we, obviously most of our customers at that time were on premise. So we have quite a few enterprise customers who um, are still on premise. Uh, but, but as we moved the product uh, across, we, we've um, embraced the CDS platform and we are now on um, on, online on Microsoft's cloud and we do um, are at more able to offer to some of the smaller customers now as a result of them not having to buy their own infrastructure and licenses and you know the per user per um, month plan really works for them. So Marie maybe you can talk about sort of I know you have global customers you have customers in Canada United States 
uh, right across Asia. Let's talk a little bit about historically what type of companies you've worked with and now what type of companies you can work with. Sure. So um, in the past, we've, uh, most of our clients have been the larger customers who have recognised that they need to become more efficient. Uh, our classic customer, and it's probably 80% of the construction market today, are using a multitude, of, like, literally tens of systems, whether they be Excel spreadsheets or um, a, an app here and an app there and you know, so many paper. different systems, pen and paper, absolutely. <laughs> um, so they're using all of these systems, none of which actually talk to each other. And some of them have spent an enormous amount of money going down the path of trying to integrate them all. And it's a disaster. So, so what we do is we replace that big hole, that big mishmash of everything so that it's already integrated. We, they don't have to integrate it. Um, we have the ability to take things, um, you know, put stuff on site that's easy for the site guys that will just naturally feed in. And so um, generally speaking, what that's meant is that these larger customers have been able to just use the bits that they've needed over time and gradually phase out their old systems, whether they be an app or a manual system or whatever it might be. But I guess the beauty of being able to um, having now migrated to the Dynamics Online platform, we are able to offer the same functionality to the smaller um, construction firm who probably couldn't have afforded the system previously just simply because um, of the, the infrastructure they would have had to have maintained. The thing is, they actually all still have the same problem. Yes. So, doesn't matter how big the company is or how small they are, they still have the same problem. So, you know, with being on the cloud now um, and, and online, it must make it easier for your customers to be able to use a PC, a tablet, or a phone to get their job done. So, so what yeah. kind of uh, hardware are people using to, to work with your application? Oh, uh, all of that. Yeah, all of that. I mean, to be honest, as far as a mobile perspective is concerned, we don't recognize, or we don't recommend that they use their phones just simply because I don't know if you've met many construction guys, but they have big fat fingers and <laughs> you try to get them to use their phones. Yes. Um, there's too much information that they actually need to be feeding in. So, but that said, if, if it's their choice, if they want to use a phone, they can use a phone. Um, but we do generally, um, obviously your back office is typically using a PC. Um, and you're on site guys, most of them these days are actually migrating that, well, the larger firms, I should be clear, the larger firms are typically investing in tablets. Um, whereas the smaller guy is probably just using its phone. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a mix of everything really. So you work with partners. So if partners would like to resell yep. your product, it's available. And are you available on app source? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. We were actually on app source relatively well, relatively promptly, um, and we are on the current version of AppSource. Um, just a word on partners, I guess what's important is that um, IPM is a very big product. So it's not like getting a PDF add-in or something into your CRM, you know? It's, it's not something you can just pick up and go, oh, I know one of those and I'll put that in. It's, you, a, it it's is an enterprise strength account. It is, and it's something that a partner would need to make a conscious decision that they wanted to get into the construction market. And believe me, it's a great market to be in. You just have to learn a bit about it, but it's the biggest employer pretty much in every country in the world, and it's still wide open because they've generally been slow adopters. Yeah, which is, makes it a great opportunity for uh, Microsoft partners. So, Marie, Absolutely. thank you very much. You know, I really enjoy talking to you because, you know, you're one of the pioneers of ISV applications. When you start thinking yeah, no. about your application was on 4.0 and, you know, you're, you're, on, you're on the present day uh, Dynamics 365 uh, cloud. So um, I, I'm sure it's been, we could do a whole new show on, on that ride, but I'm glad you're here today and I'm glad your product's available. And I look forward to talking to you in the future to find out more about IPM and the construction management market. Great. Well, thanks, Rick. Thanks for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, look forward to catching up with you again soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.